Well, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to ABP. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Batra. Thank you for considering me for this honor. And the list of nominees was pretty intimidating, actually. And I'm glad I could have made the cut. So thank you to the jury. The, in fact, the list of people who've gotten this award are even more intimidating. So we've got a long way to go to prove that we were worth giving this award to. I think it's been an amazing 15 years of running Dream 11 and Dream Sports. And um, I'd like to say that I, I like a quote from by Isaac Newton that I can think about that says, where he said that, I only look further than others because I stand on the shoulders of giants. And I've been very fortunate to have so many giants in my life whose shoulder I can stand on. Um, the way we've built our team at Dream 11 and Dream Sports, I can consider myself a sports coach. We try to emulate the world's best sports teams when thinking about our culture and what we want to do and how we want to build. So I think I'd like to thank four sets of people for that. First of all, everything we do is for the sports fan. The sports fan is at the center of every sporting activity. All our products and services are only for the sports fan. And we're lucky to have a billion of them in India. It creates an amazing market for us domestically, and we're very fortunate to have that. Secondly, I think I'd like to thank the BCCI, of which Sir is a, the treasurer of. And if it wasn't for the BCCI to create the world's, one of the world's best sports bodies to create the IPL, I would have never started Dream 11 because Dream 11 was only created because I was a fantasy sports fan. I still am a huge fantasy sports fan. And I just wanted to play fantasy cricket for IPL. And so it's because of IPL. And if it was possible, I didn't think 15 years back it was possible. But India's becoming an even bigger cricket nation now than it had been 15 years ago. And that's only to the work of, thank you to the work of BCCI that that's been possible. The third one, I think, is that <clears throat> as a sports coach, I am only as good as the team. <clears throat> so there are a couple of people even from my team here today. And I'd like to thank my team because my job as a sports coach is only to get people more talented, more skillful than me, and get out of their way. And my only job is to make sure they all work together as one team with one vision and make the team win. The last one is my family. On a personal note, I think no entrepreneur's journey is possible without a family that is supportive, that is able to really stand by you because it's a roller coaster ride. And for everyone, it is always. And, you know, I have my mom, my dad, my wife here. So thank you so much for that. My, uh, you know, when I was young, my mom has uh, raised me to you know, do whatever I loved, and I loved sports, and I loved games. And everyone that time would say, Ki ye kya karne wala hai? Bas ye sports khelte rehta hai, aur ye game khelte rehta hai. And she still supported me, and she still let me do what I wanted to do, and encouraged me. And I figured out a way to make sports and games work <laughs> over some time. My dad, who made sure that whatever I got into, there's 30 years of Marwadi training, to make sure that Joby Karege will make a business out of it. And, um, you know, even as simple as a thing like Monopoly, when we would play Monopoly as kids, he would not, like, we, I was eight, nine years old, and he would still negotiate with me hard. Every negotiation was like, I will have to negotiate my life to get the right deal. Every time I would pass go, I was not allowed to collect 200 without making sure I remember to get it. And so that tough coaching made sure that when I started a sports gaming company, we were able to actually grow it into a business that you see today. And finally, my wife, who's been with me for 20 years now. Um, you know, it says Harish Jain and Bhavit Shet were founders for Dream 11, but honestly, my wife has been the third founder. She's been with us from the idea, right from the inception. She's been there when the times were tough, and the times were tough for the first five, six years. 
we were pretty lost trying to pivot, adapt. Um, the seed money that we raised all got spent and we had to keep adapting and changing. And um, it was very easy to come home to a wife who said that, try something else versus coming home to someone who said, carry on and keep at it. And so she's been the third co-founder. She's been a, my biggest advisor all these years and continues to be. So thank you. Thank you to all these four sets of people and ABP, without which this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you, everyone.